Okay, so uh, we continue with the installation of one very useful program. So it is Redshift and it is going to build blue filter for your monitor. So you, uh, you type in sudo uh, apt-get uh, install Redshift. And as you see, I forgot to uh, dash y, and it asked me to uh, confirm it manually. After everything is done, uh, we can run it, but before we run it, uh, I, I want to show you what it actually needs for running smoothly. So uh, after you type redshift.h, you can see the list of all the attributes and we will need the provider, uh, the method and the temperature. And the, the, the default temperature would be 5.5 uh, for daytime and nighttime 3.5 thousand kelvins. And we're going to type redshift dash t uh, with, the, with the values that we want. And I would like to use 6.5 thousand for daytime. Or let's see the providers first. So it's dash L and list for the providers. Uh, in, in the previous versions, it was actually more than two. And now we have GeoClue 2 and Manual 1. So we're going to use GeoClue 2 for this one. And let's see what, what are the method lists. And here you can see the render method. And it is needed for those who use more than one uh, display. So it's going to uh, make the same configuration for both of uh, monitors or if you use more, for more. Okay, so the final would be redshift dash T for temperature and it is going to be 6.5 thousand to 3.5 dash L geoclue 2 dash m render and uh, before we uh, confirm it I want to show you how to save it for future so uh, you need to uh, select it right click and press copy or you press uh, shift ctrl c to insert, just uh, press Ctrl Shift v, v. Okay, now uh, just go to Unity button and in the search bar you should type Start and choose Startup Applications. Here you uh, press Add and give it a name, so let's call it Redshift. And in the command you just paste what you have copied from the terminal. Again, it's Redshift with the temperature, with the provider, GeoClue2, and the method render. Now just add it. And uh, what it does, on the startup of your computer, it is going to execute this uh, command automatically so you don't need to type it uh, every time you start the machine.